What's going on, everybody? It's Navelle J. Lee with a new Buzzcast here at Buzzworthy Radio. And I had the chance to sit with Andrew Abraham, who talked about his movie Dog War. One of the things I will say about this interview, I did keep saying it was a hard watch. And I got to give him credit. He did call me out on that. So I I have to tell you, while I get while I do say this a lot during this conversation, he brought up some very valid points about it. This movie does follow the story of two of two people who are in South Korea and they look into the fact of dog meat trades. So you're basically seeing these two individuals trying to save as many dogs as possible because you are seeing them getting mutilated and beaten to the point where they are eaten. They're basically eating dog meat. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. So there are parts of it that while, as I said, and kept saying is a hard watch, is very informative because it showed aspects of life that I had no idea existed. And I think that was really the premise of this film. This documentary is showing us exactly what goes on in other parts of the world that we are not privy to here in the States. So for me, it was very eye-opening and very in no uncertain terms, it was very enlightening to the subject matter because now it brought a whole other aspect to what we live, what we what we see, what we may not see in life, and knowing that this exists. So please enjoy this interview with Andrew. I personally did, and hopefully you guys do as well. Check it out. I'm sitting here with Andrew Abrahams, and we are talking about dog war. First of all, Andrew, thank you so much for stopping by the bus to talk to me about this. Really appreciate it. Great to be here. I am going to, first of all, start off by saying this was a very, very hard watch. And it 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 wasn't easy. And I think there were, I I know I was already warned about potentially seeing some things that I was not ready for. But when I got to the parts where I, and guys, when I tell you, when you're seeing dogs being torched, you're seeing these dogs being beaten, you're you're going to see this in this film. When, it, when you have the opportunity to see it, which I implore you to do, uh, and we're going to get into that as to why I suggest that you do see this, It's it, it was hard for me to see that. I literally jumped out of my skin, especially not thinking I was going to see the dogs being hit and beaten, let alone burned. I was not ready for that. And when I saw it, it literally scared me to death. So I, I don't I, know if you're going to draw many viewers based on that. <laughs> <laughs> no, but <laughs> it, it's, it, for me, it, I think because a lot of people know I love dogs and, and people like to know on certain terms, do nickname me the dog whisperer. So I, I think that's probably another reason why they'll understand why I'm a bit, upset by watching this but also trying to get this message out as well um this was in south korea if i'm not mistaken where this took place and um i want to know one how i i might have had this wrong but i believe this was what six years was it six years in making this yeah. Yeah. okay and it basically stems from seeing not just these dogs being beaten and tortured but the um there, there are people who are eating dog meat over in, in this area. And we have these two war veterans who are going over to want to save these dogs. Um, how did you get in, how did you get involved in this project from the jump? Uh, like, like all my films, uh, it's, it's something that stands out. It, it, had, it needs to be something that stands out to me, something I didn't know about, something that's unseen, unknown, something that's sort of like falling through the cracks. Um, and in this case, when it came to me, when someone came to me with this issue, I didn't know anything about it. I was kind of shocked. Um, but it wasn't just the issue of eating dog meat. It was also some of the other other aspects of it, like some of the myths about it, that that uh, it was good for you. It was good for your health, that it was um, and that it that it was like a, a natural Viagra, that it was, a, um, um, uh, you know, basically um you know male stamina was increased and so 
this was, these were kind of angles that I was very interested in. And um, I needed a um, some kind of angle or entree into this world. And when I learned about this team of, or this group or team of, mm -hmm. of, of um, combat vets who were basically dedicating their lives to saving dogs throughout the world, I was intrigued. This, this sort of like juxtaposition of war heart hardened vets trained to kill, you know, yeah. macho guys um, with, you know, a heart of gold, you know, soft, yeah. you know, animal loving at the same time um, that, that intrigued me. So I'm interested in contrasts. I'm interested in, in that kind of place where our assumptions collide. Um, you know, and this was also, it's also West versus East in some way. And what, what does that mean? You know, is this cultural imperialism? Is this just cultural difference? Is there, are there borders for dogs? Um, and are there borders for like some of the questions of, of ethics and, and humanity? Um, so, uh, those are things that just intrigued me. And so, um, basically the, my grappling with the, with the subjects and with the questions are something that I want to, I, I basically want to be a proxy for, for the viewer to ask those same questions and to struggle with them as well. It's interesting how you talk about when you got involved with the project about the myths that were associated with this, when you first heard about it, you know, it, it, it sort of, you sort of dive into that during during this as well. I know one one of the things that were called out was that one of the one of the girls that gave a commentary was about how if you were to harm a dog, if you were to torture them so much, then the meat would be softer and tender to eat and everything like that. And I just kind of sat there going like, but that's not okay either way. And just the that part of it and then the conflict between certain in, certain people there where you're seeing on one side of it people are just in the streets going like let's eat let's go ahead and do this let's go ahead and eat the dog meat and then you have the other side of it going like no we got to save the dogs we got to save the dogs so i feel i'm just wondering just from your position just standing there and seeing these sides going at it and how difficult for you was it to be in that present moment where you're watching this unfold with with everybody? Because um, I know there are certain aspects, especially when they're going in and trying to infiltrate. How 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 difficult was that in order for you to not? I don't want to say stay out of the way, but it, and enough to where you can get what you need in order to convey the message for everybody that's watching. Um, I think what I'm taking from this this question is like is how is it being in the midst of a war, mm -hmm. <laughs> basically, um, being in the midst of this dog war, and um, you know I I can say a lot of things about that. Like war is fascinating. Like if it weren't for the violence of war, you know, for the for for the the death and destruction of war, sort of like writ large. Um, it's fascinating because like this is all, what it is is like it's a it's a contrast it's a clash yeah. of ideas and um you know and and so that's going to happen like that happens all the time that contrasting and you know hopefully we get to a point where that war doesn't where it, where it, where it doesn't become violent and um and destructive so i'm intrigued by it I'm intrigued by the the questions, like I said, and the contrasts that are coming together. And in this case, it's around the the dog meat industry. Uh, um, I do have a point of view, um, but I also understand that it's important to represent all the the different points of view. Mm -hmm. um, I don't want to I don't want to spoon feed. Pardon the the expression um, uh, to the audience what they should think. I want them to come to their own conclusions and sort of show them again the smorgasbord, pardon the expression, um, yeah. of 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 the different points of view. Um, so I like that. Like I really like the the tension that's um, involved in the 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 dog war issue, and to a greater extent, you know, the 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 wars and tensions that are all about us all the time. And like I said, I wish we could deal with those in a way that is that is that is not violent, that is more respectful. And I think we would have better better outcomes if 
We didn't have to resort to the to violence. Ultimately, in this case, with the with dog war and with dog meat industry in South Korea, uh, there is a happy ending, which is that the South Korean government um, has banned the uh, the industry and take take um, it'll it'll um, start in 2027. But it's only because of um, because of this this uh, this war that's been uh, ongoing in South yeah. Korea for a long time. That's that's great to hear. Thank you for sharing that with us. Um, and I believe that this this film is actually premiering at the Chelsea Film Festival tomorrow. It's a it's a U.S. premiere. It had the world premiere at the Rain Dance Film Festival in London uh, earlier this summer. Okay, so this is the North American premiere tomorrow. Okay, gotcha. And I, I like I said, I know it's a very it's a very hard watch, but I really would encourage everybody to see it because, again, as you just said yourself, very very eloquently, you're telling this story. You have your point of view from this, but also you're getting everybody else's point of view in this film. What you're trying to get um, from from those who provided the commentary as well as what you were able to capture. Um, and for well, I'd like to say, can I say something about that? Um, yeah. is, is this, you know, I hear that this a lot about like, it's hard to watch. It's hard to watch. And, you know, most people aren't going to go to a film that, that, you know, when they're being told it's hard to watch, it's hard to watch. And so I'll say it's sometimes I call it the must see film or a must see film that you thought you couldn't watch. Um, it's, it's uh, people who do watch it usually say, I thought it, I didn't think, uh, I thought it was going to be much worse than it was. Um, yes, there were some difficult moments, but overall, you know, I was drawn in, I was fascinated, and it left me um, thinking. And, you know, I, I, I can't stop thinking about this. It sort of like grab, grabbed me and, and um, won't let me go. So I want people to have that experience of, of, of being challenged, um, being question like like that's a great place to be and so um i i you know and i think we're in a time where you know there are wars going destructive wars going on in the world right now and people don't want to be like it's like we want our safe spaces we don't we want don't want to go through trauma um and uh for better or for worse that's kind of the sort of the, the zeitgeist of the moment but i think we need to continue um, challenging ourselves and so in some ways come out of our bubble of protection and safety so that we can see the world in a fresh way. Um, so that's how I would sort of represent it. <clears throat> it's something that's good for you, not like overall bad for you. <laughs> something that will make you, uh, uh, that will expand your horizons, not just, you know, make you curl up into a, into a shell and, and uh, you know, give, give up. I like how you put that because that's exactly really what happened after I was finished watching it because I did come out the, out of the movie where I did have thoughts about it, did have questions about it. I also was one that did not know this was going on. And so just to have that visibility into it, um, to your point, I agree. I It wasn't as hard of a, like it wasn't that difficult to watch i came out of that basically going like i learned something from it and now i get to question um uh, i get to question it what we watched and um how are we able to take that and discuss it even further continue to have that conversation so i i definitely agree with that assessment because that's honestly what happened with me when i watched the film it it really was a thought-provoking film and I I also appreciated everything that was brought to the screen and I was able to see people's happiness when 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 the vets came in and saved and saved the dogs and it was just it it really was it was challenging for me that I never knew about it but then as I got to watch it and see everything progress I was very happy with the outcome that we were able to end on the note with. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So I appreciate that you were able to convey that message, not just in the film, but also in the conversation that we're having now. So thank you for that. Um, and I really hope everybody gets to watch this when it does premiere um, tomorrow at the Chelsea Film Festival, because again, like me, you're going to come out of this with, you're not, you never knew about it, but you're going to, now realize oh my gosh this is happening 
um, what other, you know, what other things can we talk about or what can we say yeah. coming out? Yeah. Of and it's, all, you know, I, I, what I'd like to add to that is that um, um, it's also a film, you know, and as a film, uh, film films need to entertain, they need to engage. And I think the film, apart from, you know, any sort of like uh, questions of uh, ethics and morality and, and, and and uh sort of like th those those overarching questions like it's it's you take a ride in this film yeah like you know it's a real like it's a it's 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 a it's a thriller in a way and um i i you know so i don't want to like when i say entertaining i don't you know, i don't want to be sound flippant but um it's a moving film, like in, in, in all the different ways, like you're moved from beginning to end and you get to a different place at the end than when you started. And I think that's what makes a good film. It does. And it honestly, it really did. It really did change um, the feeling of when I watched it. I, I was in this one place because I kept saying that in the beginning, as you called out. But then when I got to the end of it, I was like, this was... This is good. This was a good. And I'm a big fan of documentaries as it is. So I enjoyed it very, very much and getting the chance to learn something new that I had not learned before. So yeah. thank you very much for bringing that to me and and being able to review it and discuss it with you. I would love to talk about this more. Um, if, if I Anytime. could ever get the opportunity to do that with you, I would love to sit back and talk with you a lot more about this. For sure. sure. I'd be more than happy to. Absolutely. Andrew, thank you so much for stopping by. I really, really appreciate it. All right. The film made its U.S. premiere at the Chelsea Film Festival last month. And when we learn more, we'll let you know on how you can watch Dog War itself. Many thanks to Andrew Abraham for stopping by the Buzzcast to talk about this documentary and bringing more information to our eyes here. That's going to do it for me for right now. I'm Navelle J. Lee, making sure you keep getting the latest buzz with Buzzworthy Radio by logging on to our website at buzzworthyradiocast.com. You can also find us on X at Buzzworthy Radio and liking us on our Facebook page. I am also on Instagram and Blue Sky under the same username at BuzzNav. And then you can also download our podcast at iHeartRadio, Amazon Music, and Spotify. We'll see you guys next time. Take care.